Hey guys, what is going on? This is that Orange GT, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna talk about the first issue I've been having with my MK8 Golf R. So these cars have not been in the States for too long and uh, there's not really a lot of recorded problems with them. Yes, there's been a lot of people having some technical issues with their navigation system and their dash. And you know, that's typical of a new car, but there's really haven't been any quality control issues that I've totally seen out of the ordinary until my car. So I'm just gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna show you guys the issue and get your guys' opinion on it. So as you can see from the video, I'm not really clicking any buttons. So yes, I, I'm totally aware that once these are haptic feedback buttons, so once you touch the steering wheel, it's gonna make a little haptic feedback sound, but this is not the same issue as you can tell from the video. This is a totally different squeak. Uh, it's happening when you just press around the button and not actually hit a button. And uh, I'm hoping that they can you know, solve this issue and it's not gonna be anything, but I'm just curious and I thought I'd make a video at the see like if anyone else out there in the MK community has this issue. Now, if a lot of people have this issue, I'm just gonna count it as something totally normal, but uh, if my car is like a one of one or there's like five people out of like a hundred who have this issue, then yeah, I do think that uh, this is something that should definitely be taken care of. And uh, yeah, and uh, with that being said, it is uh, still at the dealer. Uh, I'm definitely will post an update video once I get it back. But for now, um, all they pretty much told me was they do hear the issue. Uh, since the car is so new, they can't uh, do anything without contacting Volkswagen first. But uh, pretty much a tech that looked at the car told me uh, they should have a solution and their solution is to uh, just replace the button. Since the car is so new, they're not going to go in there and try to diagnose it. They're just going to replace the button and call it a day and hopefully that fixes the issue. With all this being said, I still absolutely love that car. It's fun to drive. I think it sounds pretty good and uh, the tech on it is amazing and I'm definitely looking forward to building this car. Uh, if you guys want to see that content, Hopefully I have some really good stuff coming soon. So like I said, again, hit that like subscribe button and uh, hopefully this is the one negative video I'm gonna make about the car. Trust me, I absolutely love that car and I can't wait to show you guys more content on that. But with that being said, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.